Hey everyone, opening weekend of bow hunting is just around the corner here in the upper Midwest. And uh, it's also uh, calling for some hot weather coming up. And I like these opening weekends just because it's a time to really catch those big bucks off guard. Uh, the only issue that we have to deal with is technically the heat and the bugs. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys who don't go in the woods uh, because they don't want to put up with any of the mosquitoes or horse flies that we have here, at least in the upper Midwest. Um, you know, and they don't hunt till the pre-rut rut time. So, you know, as a bow hunter and a bow hunter who hunts also public land, right now is one of the best times to take advantage of opening weekend to get on one of those big bucks. So let's go over some tips right now on he keep those bugs away and what I utilize uh, to keep myself bug free in the stand. Clothing, what type of clothing to wear, really anything will do. Uh, I like to actually use old stuff, um, lightweight, breathable. Um, I have an old scent blocker shirt, and actually I like to wear this uh, for opening day of bow hunting. It, you know, the logo is pretty much off. Um, it actually smells like deep from, from past opening days. And uh, the key though is that it's breathable and it'll keep me cooler, uh, especially in the low 80s where it's supposed to be this opening weekend. And then as far as hats go, um, this hat is actually a waterproof hat. Um, I got a few years back, one, it too uh, smells like DEET uh, from years ago. Um, but the key is that they can't get their little pinchers or needles into your head. And I don't have a whole heck of a lot of hair uh, back here and around here. Um, and they can bite me through a mesh hat or a regular hat. Uh, so I do like this particular hat for my opening day and I can hit it with bug spray all I want. Um, Cause that's, that's it. I have a set of clothes that I just wear essentially for when it's buggy out that I can hit with different bug sprays and uh, even use some different uh, lotions on my face or whatever. And I don't care if that lotion uh, or bug spray gets on those clothes, all right? Speaking of hats, here is a trick that I learned uh, from a good friend of mine, uh, Matt K, uh, I will call him. And uh, let's go over that right now, especially for horse flies. So one product I really like to utilize, uh, in particular for horse flies, when horse flies are bad, are one of these sticky tapes. Now you can get these on Amazon, uh, is where I bought these from. Um, essentially what they are is they're just a tape that have two sides. Uh, one side is a not so sticky side, that's the gray side, okay? And that just goes on the back of the head like such. Okay, press that down onto the hat, like so. And then you just take the piece here and you just pull that back. And this is very uh, sticky up on top. So I'll put a link uh, to this down below on where you can find these in the particular brand that I like to utilize. Um, but yeah, you just wear this guy uh, in the woods. I don't really care what I look like. Uh, you know, I'm not there for a fashion show uh, when I'm trying to kill deer. So, you know, and this thing can get really capeful. I've had this already just loaded with horse flies. Um, you know, if they're stuck on here, uh, they're not biting you. All right, so if the mosquitoes are really, really bad, uh, what I'll do is I'll spray my clothes down with DEET. Now, I don't like to put it on my skin. Um, I don't trust DEET, uh, and I don't even trust the people who tell me that it's okay to put DEET on your skin. So what I like to utilize um, is essentially a product made by Coleman. But first, I'm going to show you this particular product, which is made by Repel. This is your normal 40% DEET, okay? And using this, I've only gotten like two hours max out of it, and it seems to wear off fairly quickly. Uh, the product here that I like to utilize is the Coleman 100% DEET. Uh, this I get about four to five hours. Um, it's much, much stronger, more potent. And once again, I am just spraying my clothes only with this particular product. As you know, one of the most annoying things is to be swiping mosquitoes or bugs away from your face, especially when you're bow hunting, because you don't want to be making a lot of movement. And they always go for the ears and the eyes and the back of the neck. Um, so what I like to utilize then for that is a particular lotion. Now there's two lotions here. You have your Repel Max here, and I have the Picardian, okay? Um, I always choose the Picardian uh, over the Repel Max. Uh, this is essentially, I have it to, because I got it for free, but technically the Picardian is what I utilize. And why I like the Picardian is it's more natural. 
Uh, Bacardian uh, is essentially made from hot peppers. So it is a little bit more natural from that perspective. The other thing is it's not as greasy as the Repel, okay? Um, it is odorless for the most part. And the main thing that I like the Bacardian for is that when I'm utilizing this particular product, okay, I can get it on my hands, whatever, and if I touch anything, it's not going to break down plastic, all right? This particular product, if you get this on, let's say your arrow shafts or your bow grip, and your bow grip has plastic in it, it will literally break that down. Um, you know, the high concentrations of DEET, the bug spray I was mentioning earlier, I've seen it literally destroy rain jackets. It, it really breaks down plastic. The Picardian will not do that. So I'm not afraid to touch, you know, certain products on my bow sights, whatever, and, and worry about the paint coming off or smudging or whatever the case may be. Uh, that's why I like to use Picardian. And I'll put it right over the ears, temples of the eyes, neck, back of the neck, um, and the back of the hands. So Picardian is my choice for using a lotion to keep those bugs away from my face so I can stay still during the sit. Last but not least, probably my primary piece that I utilize for keeping bugs away is the Thermocell. This guy right here. So essentially, it's a little unit uh, that you put a bottle in here of fuel. And then what it does, it warms up this plate on here. And then that plate warms up that pad that you insert. And it puts off a little bit of a blue smoke, keeping the bugs away. Uh, this case is extra. You have to purchase a case with it. Um, but this particular unit, uh, you know, combined with the other products really is a, a, a pretty much a bulletproof plan. Um, I do like to put this little guy on here because this clip that's on the back, um, I have lost this unit a couple of times. Matter of fact, there's two units that are sitting out somewhere in the woods that I have no idea where they're at. So I added this little guy. And what I do with this is I actually wrap this around my belt uh, a couple of times because this clip kind of garbage um, but other than that this unit itself has kept me in the woods a lot and what I like to do about it too is take that clip and you can hook it onto a tree uh, so it's right in front of you uh, so you can have the wind blow that smoke to you um, it's not really a lot of smoke uh, matter of fact I don't even smell it um, but when it's on it definitely keeps the bugs away so thermosel you can find them at Walmart or any of your sporting goods stores and uh, they're a great unit to have in the woods especially when those bugs are bad. So some people might be asking, well, why not use a face mask? And honestly, uh, in order for a face mask to keep bugs away, it has to kind of pull away from the face a little bit. But if it's one of those form-fitting ones, uh, the bugs are still going to be able to bite through it. Uh, but the ones that pull away from your face, you know, when I shoot my bow, uh, in my mind, I'm afraid that string is going to grab that, that material and make the shot go awkward and maybe it's more of a mind thing than anything uh, but i don't want anything to mess with my shot uh, when i have to make that shot so that's why i don't utilize a face mask even if the bugs are bad and i'll use like the lotion uh, the picardian on my cheeks uh, ears neck uh, instead so that's why i don't utilize a face mask Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, you know, don't let the heat or bugs keep you out of your tree stand. Uh, you know, that opening weekend is one of the best weekends to get on a big buck. So don't let that get to you. I know a lot of guys who are actually not going out in the woods this weekend. And I think they're missing out. I know I'll be out uh, opening day uh, for whitetails. Um, one last thing I want to say is please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, by subscribing, you're really, really helping me out and helping me grow this particular channel. Especially if you like those old school wood, woodsmanship type videos. And that's what I'm about. You know, I hate to say it, but I think the hunting industry has watered down hunting. Um, I think it's getting harder for young people uh, to learn these hunting skills. Um, you know, because when young people start off, they don't have the money uh, for leases, um, you know, and, and to buy all these, these expensive products. And don't get me wrong, I utilize these products as well. Um, but I really, really focus on the old school way of hunting with new age tactics, and that's king. Um, and really, when it comes down to getting a big buck, it takes two things. It takes heart, and it takes what's up here. If you have those two things, you will be getting on big bucks year after year. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed the video again. Clint from Oak and Iron Outdoors.